alendronic acid alendronic acid is a type of medicine called a bisphosphonate bisphosphonate are prescribed to help your bones stay as strong as possible taking a alendronic acid can help if you have or are at risk of developing osteoporosis this is a condition that causes your bones to get weaker and be more likely to break osteoporosis can happen for many reason but you are more likely to get the tiff you are a woman who has been throughout the menopause you take steroid such as prednisolone every day for a long time which means 3 month or longer you have had a certain type of cancer treatment some treatments can increase your risk of developing osteoporosis your oncology doctor or nurse will discuss this with you talk to your doctor if you are worried about the health of your bones because of the medicine you take or change to your hormone levels because of the menopause alendronic acid is only available on prescription you can take it as a standard tablet a soluble tablet that dissolve in water or as a liquid that you drink alendronic acid is good for you a bones it makes them stronger and less likely to break you will usually take it as a tablet or liquid once a week take alendronic acid first thing in the morning before you have anything to eat or drink and before you take any other medicines stay sitting or standing for 30 minutes so the medicine does not irritate your food pipe it's important to look after your teeth and have regular dental checkups will take in an alendronic acid because it can sometimes damage the jaw bone but this is rare alendronic acid is known as fosavans when it is mixed with colecalciferol vitamin d3 who can and cannot take alendronic acid alendronic acid can be taken by most adult age 18 and over it sometimes prescribed for children with osteoporosis do not give it to children under the age of 18 unless it's prescribed by a doctor alendronic acid is not suitable for some people to make sure it's safe for you tell your doctor if you have ever had an allergic reaction to alendronic acid or any other medicine have problem digesting food swallowing or other problem with your food pipe have taken alendronic acid before but it made you feel dizzy and unable to stand or sit up right for at least 30 minutes after taking have low calcium level in your blood alendronic acid sometimes cause low blood calcium so your calcium level could become even lower have kidney problems have cancer or are having chemotherapy or radiotherapy have problems with your teeth or are waiting for dental treatment such as having a tooth out smoke or used to smoke this may increase your risk of dental problems are pregnant trying to get pregnant or breastfeeding how and when to take alendronic acid follow your doctor's instruction about how and when to take your medicine dosage and strength the usual dose of alendronic acid for adult is 70 mg taken once a week there is also a 10 mg tablet to take once a day you will usually take alendronic acid once a week as a standard tablet as a liquid that you drink as a tablet that dissolves in water is possible whether you take alendronic acid daily or weekly you need to take your medicine at the same time each day or day of the week if it's weekly choose a day that suits your routine how to take alendronic acid it is important to follow the instruction for this medication with carefully if you do not it may not work or it could irritate and damage your food pipe as you swallow it the best time to take your medicine is usually 30 minutes before you have breakfast take it on an empty stomach before you have anything to eat or drink and before you take any other medicine that you swallow alendronic acid works best on an empty stomach because your blood can absorb it properly it's important to take alendronic acid while you are sitting up or standing try to stay upright for 30 minutes after taking your medicine you can be sitting standing or walking 
side effect like cold medicine allantonic acid can cause side effect in some people but many people have no side effect or only minor ones common side effect these common side effect happen in more than one in hundred people talk to your doctor or pharmacist if they brother you do not go away constipation diarrhea feeling dizzy or things of vertigo headache muscles or joint pain solo one joint hand or legs indigestion bloating or wind itching or mild rash feeling sleepy or tired hair loss serious side effect some people may have serious side effect when taking allantonic acid these include heartburn or heartburn that gets sore problems so pain when solo win no chest pain these may be signs of ulcers in your food pipe if this happen stop taking allantonic acid then speak to a doctor other serious side effect are rare but call a doctor straight away if you have a loose teeth mouth sores or swelling or pain in your mouth or jaw contact your dentist as well as your doctor as this could be a sign of damage to your jaw bone pain weakness or discomfort in your thigh hip or groin this happen rarely but may be an early sign of a broken thigh bone severe pain in your joint muscles or bones ear pain discharge from your ear or an ear infection these can be signs of damage to the bones in your inner ear black or red poop these can be signs of an ulcer and bleeding from your gut blurred vision painful or red eyes these can be sign of swelling of the eye muscle cramp or spasm a tingling sen- certain in your finger or around your mouth these can be symptoms of low calcium level in your blood in rare cases allantonic acid may cause a serious allergic reaction anaphylaxis these are not all the side effect of allantonic acid for a full list see the leaflet inside your medicine packet uh what to about to constipation eat more high fiber food such as fresh food vegetable and cereals and drink plenty of water try to increase your levels of exercise if you can by growing for a day the walk or run if this not help talk to your pharmacist or doctor this short video explain more about to treat constipation uh pregnancy and best feeding allantonic acid and pregnancy allantonic acid did not recommend during pregnancy this is because there has not been enough research into its safety allantonic acid and best feeding it's generally okay to take allantonic acid while best feeding this is because we only expect very small amount to pass into best milk it may not be suitable in very small number of cases check with your doctor about what's best for you and your baby ozon and other medicine if you been prescribed allantonic acid do not take other medicine that you have to take by mouth at the same time this is because it enters the stomach so cup the allantonic acid then stops it working properly if you do need to take another medicine by mouth wait for at least 30 minutes some medicine can affect the way allantonic acid work tell your doctor if you are taking supplement or multivitamin contain calcium iron magnesium or zinc antacid to relieve indigestion or heartburn laxative contain magnesium cancer medicine such as bevacizumab or thalidomide steroids such as prednisolon dexamethasone this may increase the risk of damage to your jaw bone non steroid anti inflammatory drug nasid such as ibuprofen which can increase the risk of irritation your food pipe stomach or gut taking low dose aspirin is okay antibiotics such as gentamicin amikacin or tobramycin these can lower the calcium in your blood diferesi rox a medicine used to remove excess iron from the body this may increase the risk of bleeding from your gut also tell your doctor if you are having chemotherapy Mission Aldronic Acid with Herbal Remedies or Supplement 
there is little information about taking herbal remedies and supplement with hyaluronic acid.